Hello, I'm going to show you how to clean an injector and an injector screen on a 255 valve, either for an iron remover, multi sec, whatever the unit is. First of all, remove your lid. Then turn off the water to the unit, either your red or green lever valve at your pressure tank or some valve along the line. When your water is off, the unit is still under pressure, so you have to relieve pressure. You can do this by turning a valve on downstream until it stops. That will relieve the pressure from the valve. Every unit that's sold is supplied with a little allen key like this, and that fits your caps here and your screen on the other side. So open your screen. Now in most cases you'll always have some drip of water here. With a point in those pliers, grab your injector and withdraw it. In this case now because it's an iron remover, it's red, these can vary in colours depending on the unit. Note the way it comes out because it will go in this way, but it will not work this way. So it's shaped like a bullet as such, small o-ring first. It doesn't matter what way it's turned this way, once it's facing this way. That's your injector and he's responsible for drawing up your salt or your permix, whichever your additive is in your regen tank. This guy can get pretty dirty. So I'll clean it with a toothbrush, anything at all. Also make sure that the barrel up the centre of it is clear. When you have it cleaned, grease it with the little sachet of grease provided. Remember the way it goes in. Push it into place, you feel it going home, there's a little clunk as it goes into place. You put back on your cap. Now you don't have to over squeeze it because there's an o-ring here, there's the ceiling. To over tighten it, because you have leverage with the, with the allen key, will crack the, the top of it here or the face of it here. So close it up, nice squeeze. So that's the injector and the cap done on this side. We'll go to the other side now. On the other side there's a screen. Again, you open him, and again you may have a spill of water here again, but it'll be minor. That's your screen. You can clean him with soapy water, old toothbrush, anything at all. When you have him clean, again, maybe a small bit of grease on the o-ring, and put him back in place. You don't have to over squeeze him, as he, he will also, the o-ring will do the seal here. When you have it done, you turn back on your water. Check it for leaks, make sure there's no drip of water from either side of the caps or the bottom of the caps. And that's your injector and screen cleaned in the unit. 